Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, my son, Jack. Today, we're gonna look go over uh, Tanya Tosh. So Tanya Tosh is one of these uh, uh, techniques that looks real easy, but it's it gets real dangerous because um, I think a lot of uh, novice players, uh, well, it looks like this, like you're, so if I have like a high grip, I'm gonna uh, kind of like fake to the front and then throw it to the back this way. So it looks pretty easy to do. It doesn't take much athletic coordination to do. It looks like I'm just hooking his leg and pulling him down so uh, he falls. So when you have two novice guys doing it on each other, it's the reason why it's very dangerous is if I am just hooking this close leg here, which is mostly what happens, the, the close leg here, and I put all my weight down on that leg, sometimes even I see guys like sitting on, like actually putting their weight down and sitting on the lower part of the leg. So what's gonna happen? Either the person's knee is gonna get stuck and you know hurt, or his ankle is gonna get stuck and snap. And this happens a lot. So that's why it's considered a very dangerous throw. So I'm gonna show you how to do it, which is not so dangerous and way more effective. Okay, so basically Tani is, you know, again, I'm gonna come in when I do it. I wanna, I'm not gonna go straight to the, to the back and try to throw him this way. I'm gonna, fake to the front, like I'm gonna do a front throw. So I'm gonna step in and like turn my, my hips forward this way, turning in this way. Some people even like to put their whole leg in front like this and then switch around to the back. I kind of like to twitch, I'll, I'll fake, like if Jack's not so far this way, he's facing me a little bit, um, he'll, he'll react. If I go like this, he's gonna to try to react by turning this way. And then once I do that, I can go to the back. So I personally, there's guys that are good at quick enough for picking the whole leg up, going like this, and then to the back. I personally like to just turn my hips pretty quickly and put my knee in front, leaving my foot kind of bent so it's already behind them. And then I can go to the back this way. Now, the way to do it more effectively and not dangerously is not to go for this close leg here, right? If I go for the close leg, you know, don't say so, so sideways. So here, if I'm going for the close leg and I'm hooking and just falling down on that close leg, that's where all the weight's gonna be and it's very dangerous. So if you look at it, on this angle, not so sideways here. So I'm gonna actually, once I fake to the front, Jack reacts a little bit, and then I go to the back. If you can see to the back, I'm gonna go for the far leg here. I'm gonna slide, I'm gonna bend my left knee, slide and, and go to the far leg, not the close leg, this way. Okay, so that's gonna make it more effective, and the angle is gonna, it's not gonna put all the weight on it on that close leg, it's gonna uh, put equal weight on both, plus trip them better you know what i mean so again if you look from the back i'm here i'm going to fake here and when i fake i'm going to pull down and go for the far leg i don't know if that was good on camera let me see do it again here so if i'm starting here i'm here i'm going to fake to the front jack's going to react and then i go to the far leg okay that that makes a big difference on injuries. Uh, I mean, I almost, in, in Randuri, I tell uh, guys not to do Tani if you're going with a newer person because they don't react the same and it's, it's dangerous. I don't want the new guys getting hurt like that. But if you do it in the way that I just showed where you're, you're actually sliding low but going towards the far leg, it's not so dangerous and you can you can do it you can practice it you can uh do it rendere without worrying about um getting the other guy injured so um yeah uh white belts that do you know it doesn't take a whole lot of coordination to do this throw it's not a turn throw with your hips and 
uh, special grips or anything like that. So it looks really easy. And you, you know, you, you'll see new guys go, oh, I see his leg there. I'm just gonna hook that leg and I'm gonna fall back. And that's where all the bad stuff happens. So try to remember if you're gonna do this throw to make it more effective and less injury to your partner, fake to the front and go for that far leg while you're pulling him back. Go to the far leg, it's more effective. You're gonna get to throw a lot more times. And like I said, a lot, lot safer. So hopefully uh, you learned something and uh, you liked the video. If you did, please like, subscribe and comment. Thanks.